morning, magandang umaga pong muli. Welcome sa programa ang Bawal Ang Pikon. Get it straight with Daniel Rosor. Time to know. <laughs> okay lang na eh. Special edition dahil kasama po natin yan si Kong Erin. Uh, dahil ito ay ang ating uh, outside broadcast dito sa Singapore. Live uh, Uh, on top of uh, the esplanade. The, the esplanade. Ay, nakita niyo yung ano, nakita niyo yung dalawang dalawang durian na yun oh, na nakate. <laughs> And on my right side is the MBS. Matanang langaw. Oh, oh, matanang langaw. Uh, with us, kasama po natin ngayon uh, ang uh, principal co-founder ng Correct Movement. Ito po ay isang uh, internet-based internet uh, or organization lobbying for constitutional reform sa atin pong uh, bansa. Walang iba kundi si Mr. Orion Perez Dumdum. Welcome to the show. Magandang umaga po. Thank you very much. Uh, yan, uh, si Kong Erin, yes. ang ating uh, isa sa mga co-hosts. Yes. Eh. Okay. And uh, ikaw ang co, uh, principal co-founder. Mm -hmm. Yes. Itong uh, uh, ano na to? Uh, correct movement. Movement na to. Correct movement. Yes. Why did you call it correct movement? So, yung bakit ko tinawag siyang correct movement, oh. eh, gusto namin bigyan ng bansagan ng bagong pangalan ang yung dating laking tinatawag na cha, -cha charter change. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So we said, dapat maganda pakinggan. So, constitutional reform and rectification for economic competitiveness and transformation. Ah, uh, okay. So, oh, yun, yun yun yung ano, no? Oh, yun yung, yun yung acronym, yeah. oh, acronym siya. Tapos lumalabas, correct. Ah, yeah. I see. Correct pala. So, ito, ever since... Kailan ba nag-umpisa ito? Nag-umpisa ito mga late uh, 2010. 2010 pa? 2010. So even oh, before pa. the... Uh, long ago pa ito. Uh, oh, even before the Duterte administration. Yes, long, long before. Pero that time ba, nagpupush na din kayo ng federalism? Yes, we, we were already pushing for essentially three main reforms. Yung tinatawag nating uh, economic liberalization, yung allowing foreign and direct investors to come in. Tatanggalin natin yung mga 60-40. Mm -hmm. And then federalism. And then parliamentary system. So, three-point mm -hmm. agenda yung tawag dyan. Mm -hmm. Tatlo yung reformang mm -hmm. isinusulong. Kailan ka ba uh, last term mo sa Congress? 2013. 2013? Yes. So, 2010, 2010, you were still a congressman. Yes. As a matter of fact, yung uh, meron uh, panukalan ba si Speaker Belmont at the time was just to address the... The 60-40, yes, the economic the 60 reforms. Yes. So, doon, dito nag-umpisa kasi yun. Yung mga movement dyan sa uh, constitutional change. But they were like afraid na baka gamitin daw nga para sa term extension. Oh. So, although, of course, ang opening no na ipinupush talaga is yung economic, economic provisions yes. of the constitution. Yes. So, you were already part of those na nagpupush for the economic uh, uh, provision to be changed. Yes, uh, yes. Which part of that mm -hmm. ang gusto niyo talaga mabigyan ng concentration? Doon so, sa para uh, mas maging liberal tayo doon sa economic uh, laws natin. Uh, so when it comes to yung economic laws, simple lang, delete everything that has to do with, with limiting mm -hmm. anything to do with the, the economy. So parang yung kagaya ng halimbawa, yung limitation sa foreign investment. Yes, yes. So parang pabayanan natin mag... Oh, yung, uh, magtayo, magtayo. Yung, yung ano namin dito is, hindi dapat siya ila, ilalagay sa loob ng constitution. Ito ay usually sa ibang mga bansa, kung titignan natin, uh, kada bansa, uh, uh, hindi nila ginagawa yan, ilalagay siya sa constitution. They uh -huh. always put it inside um, legislation only. So parang inside a specific law, a specific law. ipapasok mo lang yung mga economic uh, provisions na yon. Yes. But what will be your basis? Kasi ang constitution natin is yan yung pinaka-mother yes, of yes, uh, yes. all laws no, natin. So, eh. yes. parang, and it should be in accordance with the constitution when you put something in the law. Yeah. If it is not in the constitution or it is something that violates the, the constitution, constitution then it will be declared unconstitutional mm -hmm. and therefore it should be repealed. Yes, diba? oh, or not well, enforced. How it works is uh, in all other countries around the world, tayo lang naiiba actually. Uh. What they all do is silent sila. They don't say, they don't say 100% dapat ang mga foreign investor. They also don't say bawal ang foreign investor. Mm -hmm. They just quiet about it okay. tapos ginagawang batas. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And so pag ginagawang batas, yun ang naglilimit na lang yung batas. Yung batas. Uh -oh. Tapos yung mga batas na yan usually very specific na. Uh, parang merong mga specific lang na areas uh -oh. of uh, economy or business 
mm-hmm. na eto sa ganitong business pwede ay kalimbawa sa media siya. business etc ganun yes. pero uh, ano ba ang gusto ninyo kasi uh, federalism po mapasok din yung ano yes, eh yes. ano ba yung form ng gusto niyo dahil ngayon di ba ano yung Presiden- ina presidential pumasa sa concom presidential federal presidential yeah so two chambers tutul kami federal <laughs> oo pero yun ngayon yan. yung ano yun ngayon yung pumasa eh diba pumasa sa concom we kasi are hindi, We're going to very vigorously contest that. We're uh, going to basically insist, by hook or by crook, there is no way that we will ever accept federal presidential because we will end up like yung mga Nigeria, Brazil, Argentina, Venezuela, and other and, and Mexico. Uh, yung mga uh, bansang medyo may pagka problema ang kanilang pagka federalism. Pero uh-huh. isn't that a question that people will say but look at the United States it's a presidential And the United federal. States has an electoral college which is like a quasi parliamentary system. So they were actually the, the USA does not directly elect their president. The president is elected by an electoral college. No, if it is going no. to be diba? the Yes. If, if it is going to be like that, okay sa inyo, ganun ba? Um not even because the studies we have done kasi ganito yan mm-hmm. eh. As a Filipino, I was brainwashed long ago as a little kid that the, that the U.S. system is the best. Mm-hmm, I was mm-hmm, brainwashed mm-hmm. before, just like every other Filipino, by Hollywood and by the Philippine press and everything. Mm-hmm. But then I realized with seeing how other countries work, having traveled around mm-hmm. because of my job, I noticed the best countries in the world are the ones that use a parliamentary system. Mm-hmm. And that the USA actually is not doing as well as we thought it should. Mm-hmm. They have su- shutdowns, so many shutdowns over so many years. After, I think they've already had seven or eight shutdowns in the last 40 to 50 years, um, and um, they they suffer for, for for so much in terms of gridlock. They have they have so many different problems. Yung, yung lobbying system mm-hmm. nila sa Congress, which mm-hmm. is so much based on money. Sino bang gusto ng kumopya ng ganon? Diba? And then their their politics is all based na right now on name recall. So yung sa gusto nila ay wala kayo. Ha? Sa so gusto nila ay wala well, kayo. Kung, kung Kasi tisingan... sina, oh, wala Senado doon, di ba? Oo, oh, <laughs> mawawala yung Senado eh. <laughs> oh, no, pero actually, yung, yung, yung argument rin ng ganun can also be used as against parliamentary. Because uh, the way the House is run, no? Kung anong sa, sa, sinasabi na... Sasabihin ang ng, uh, ng House. Oo, oh, yun yun. Uh-huh. So, pareho rin eh. Gamit rin ng pe- yung, kung sinasabi, gamit ng ka- pera. Ga- yeah. Gamit rin ng pera. The difference though is that parliament is sub- the, 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 the cabinet and the prime minister mm-hmm. are subject to the confidence of the house. And there is an active opposition with a shadow cabinet that actively scrutinizes each and everything that the government does. Mm-hmm. So, kunyari, meron tayong sabihin natin minister of defense. Ang ang kabilang panig ang uh, opposition. Meron silang ano, meron silang corresponding na uh, shadow minister for defense. So every meeting inside the Ministry of Defense, pinag-uusapan yung mga eroplanong bibilhin ng mga tanking bibilhin. Nabubusisi yan ng taga opposition at legally obliged i-share ang lahat ng mga papeles, lahat ng mga PO, lahat ng mga yung mga purchasing order, resibo, lahat para mabusisi ng oposisyon. So there's a specific model that you want to follow. Yes. Anong specific model ng federalism ang gusto ninyo exactly? Exactly. Okay, ganito yan. It's, it's, it's a federal parliamentary system mm-hmm. which is similar to what, what other countries that use, parliamentary, uh, use federal parliamentary systems use which is like in Australia, Canada, Malaysia, India. Germany. Um, even Germany... In a way, yes, yes, but we would like to copy actually more the Westminster model because... So exactly what the West, Westminster... Westminster, yeah. UK. Y- yung ano, format nila ginagamit. Format na ginagamit ng... Yun na yun talaga. Yes. So it's not even a hybrid. It's not even... Well, it's like this. The hybrid is a good entry point. So migration kasi to, As an IT yes, expert, yes. we do a lot of migrations from yes, lo- yes. lumbang system to a new yes, system. Yes, yes, yes. So in order to, to migrate, siyempre may step by step. Mm-hmm. Kaya nga pumasok yung idea ng hybrid. So how do we, how do you want that to start? Parang pasok na muna tayo ng hybrid, okay na tayo Hybrid doon. muna, hybrid so muna. Yun ang, yun ang, yes. it, sa hybrid, ano yung tinitingnan ninyong klase ah. ng pagiging hybrid nito? Uh, ano ba to? Kanto ni Satya ka, <laughs> di ba? Parang ganun. <laughs> ano? so, then, uh, so when you say hybrid kasi it actually means... Kasi maraming iba-ibang klase ng pagka-hybrid rin. Yes, eh, yes. Di ba? So anong so, hybrid yung yun? first, kasi there is actually a continuum. Parang alam mo yung... 
yung slight gradation ng difference between mm -hmm. one and the other. Mm -hmm. Two extremes. Tapos meron mga in-between. So, on the one hand, you have yung mga pa, tulad ng, um, ng Russia, which is a strong, very, very strong president. And then on the other hand, you also have countries like uh, in the case of France, na hindi ganun ka strong, pero strong pa rin ng konti. Mm -hmm. And then you have others like Portugal, where the president is a little weaker. And then you have what Finland used to be. Finland used to be, um, they still had a, kind of parang may konting power yung president, pero meron pa rin siyang, parang mas importante pa rin yung prime minister in a way. Mm -hmm. So how are you so participating ganun. with the, the debate on this? Kasi kagaya niyan, meron ng, uh, meron ng inapprove yung Congress and even... Concom. Ah, yung Concom. Ang, ang uh, kila, kila Justice kila Puno, di ba? Yes. Uh, ito kasi yung nagbabalangkas at nagre-recommenda ngayon. Mm. Paano ngayon kayo na nakaka... Paano kayo nadidinig? So, because of social media, ang mm -hmm. ano kasi namin, our charter, our, our, dis, our decision to get involved has always been based on popularizing these mm -hmm. para mawalan ng yung pagkakamaling akala. Kasi ang nangyari for, for so many years, yung time pa ni FVR, parang laging may misconceptions eh. May mga maling akala yung mga Pilipino kasi Marami binababoy yun. siya ng, ng press dati eh. Yeah. Yung, at saka ng mga oligarchs. And that, that will continue. That will continue. Kasi that is something na talagang uh, designed para doon sa kaisipan ng mga gusto maghari. Mm -hmm. Oo. Oh, oh. oh. So, ang, ang ano namin has been we use the internet para may laban tayo kasi pag sa normal press at saka thank you din talaga sa inyo binibigyan niyo kami ng ano ng oras yeah. dito pero yung sa kasi in other ano in in other channels talagang eh, lagi nilang ipapalabas yung mga anti. Kung ano lang yung gusto nila. Oo, ano yung mga anti-reform lagi. Tapos, mali-mali uh, uh. yung sinasabi. Sasabihin, term extension. Sasabihin, more centralization of power daw in the president. Yung federalism, which of, of course is hogwash. Mali. Kasi, ibabahagi nga ng presidente ang, ano, eh, ang poder at uh, kakayahan. Eh, Siyempre, inaangulo ano, din naman nila yan kung minsan. Doon sa tingin nila ay magiging paborable para sa kanila. Sa kanila so yes. that it will be it will be uh, parang uh, uh, perceived to be like that. Yes. Pero ngayon, kagaya niyan, sinasabi niyo kasi parang unacceptable sa inyo totally yung uh, mm -hmm. uh, so, presidential federal. federal. Oo. Uh, paano? Ano gagawin niyo? Kung halimbawa yan ang, yan ang sumulong. So, ganito kasi. Firstly, we do have contacts with some people inside the Concom. So, some of the people who actually voted for hybrid or presidential Pero are natal connected. Natalo na yung iba. Natalo sila kasi, uh -oh. mga, kasi old guard yung mga nandun. Which is, ina-expose na lang namin na ang mga yan, ang reason kung bakit sila nag nagpursigi sa presidential, eh dahil sanay kasi tayo dyan. Mm -hmm. Which is a very lousy argument. Kasi, porket sanay ba tayo na gumagawa ng ano yung maling ginagawa natin dati, eh, mananatili tayo sa ginagawa nating mali, mm. kinakailangan natin mag-upgrade. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. diba? Pero what is odd ngayon dito sa situation mo, no? while you are actually fighting for something, for reforms that you want to happen in our country, you are based here in Singapore. It's diba? precisely Para... because I'm based here na nakikita ko as an ordinary citizen nakikita ako kung ano yung gumagana sa labas. Ano yung... Ano sinasabi mo? Eh, bakit dito pwede? Bakit oh, sa atin hindi? Oo. Oh, oh. oh. The other option was, I could have just shut up and said, no, but, na, uh, nandito na ako sa Singapore. But, I shouldn't care anymore, di ba? Yeah, but what, what, what is important to notice as well is, iba ang mentalidad ng mga Singaporeans at iba ang mentalidad ng mga Pilipino. Uh -huh. Di ba? Uh, mm -hmm. But how, how do you deal with that? Kasi sa atin, more on... Uh, andali natin ano eh, andali, minsan marami sa atin, nabibilog kagad yung ulo. Oh, oh, minsan, yeah. nag-agree on something that they don't even know kung ano yes. yung detalye. Yes. Minsan, kumokontra sa isang bagay na hindi rin nila alam kung hindi ano yung kabuuan. Oh. Ah, ito, isa, isa. Diba? Isang pala yung problema, for example, sa internet pa lang, at sa action, nakakainis din eh. Sa Facebook pa lang, paminsan, nag-share ka lang ng isang article na nandun yung titulo. Uh, hindi pa nila nababasa yung artikulo, kukontrain na. na. Yes, yes, yes. Hindi yes, pa nila yes. nababasa eh. Uh, Pero kukontrain uh, na. That, that's, Ganun, that's precisely my point. Nakainis. Parang uh, it's more on attitude problem, yeah. cultural orientation, as well as political orientation and inclination. Kasi parang kung inclined ka na, at yung habit mo, eh talagang 
Um, I mean, nag-involve ka sa isang bagay. Minsan nga nag-rarally, hindi niya alam oh, kung ano yung nirarally oh, niya. Oh, nirarally. <laughs> Minsan, na, nahayaya lang, pumunta na siya doon oh. uh, without even understanding everything. So parang ang laki ng campaign for information dissemination and education para dito sa pagbabago ng kaisipan. Yes, yes. More, more on that. But uh, how, how, how are you going to infuse mm -hmm. lahat ng mga ideas ninyo. Kaya ang ano namin, ang, ang strategy namin is we we talk about OFW issues. Kasi we are uh -huh. mostly OFWs. Yes. Uh -huh. So dahil, and talagang yung bulk of our of our support base is really the OFWs. Kasi uh -huh. syempre, ang so OFW not only here, mula, not only here, in, not Singapore, only here in Singapore, you're talking of other we have We have countries. members and um, some of my key lieutenants are in other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, internet lang kami nakakilala, nag, okay. naglalaban, nag, nagdi-debate kami. Kar, gano karami na ba kayo ngayon sa so, membership ninyo? Membership namin sa ano sa internet, it's around 6,000 plus. No? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, mga key, key members, there are around 100 mm -hmm. na uh -huh. major, yes. yung talagang very active members. Um, and you're planning na ito ay palakihin para mas magkaroon ng malaking base yung support na kung makukuha ninyo to push for this agenda. Basically, it's like this. I would like to concentrate firstly on, on quality. So I'm looking for as many people na keen to understand the reforms and their details and disseminate that, and, and disseminate that information. So, hindi lang ako naghahanap ng maraming tao. Naghahanap ako ng mga taong marunong makaintindi. Uh, so, uh, actually... As an IT professional, I did notice that you know the, the earliest disciples I made, the earliest converts I made were also fellow IT people and other technically inclined uh, people, okay. engineer. Because actually, kung titingnan natin itong idea ng moving from unitary to to federal or or uh, par presidential to parliamentary, it's actually very technical. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and usually, mm -hmm. people who have a good programming background or medio technical ang ano madaling mag-grasp yung mga ideas na to. Uh -huh. And then, conversely, ang na-notice na namin, marami sa mga kumukontra, I'm sorry to say, lawyer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> lawyer. Ako, ako kontra lawyer. Ka? No, kontra, pero kontra, lawyer. Kontra ka? Hindi naman. Hindi naman. Ako, <laughs> ako, <laughs> marami rin kami yung mga... Paano ka, ikaw, kamunti ka maging lawyer. Hindi, <laughs> 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 because uh, if you look at it, uh, I have no problem dahil pinag-uusapan naman natin structure eh. Uh, uh, no? And structure, wala naman good or bad yan eh. Uh, ang, oh, there is actually, uh, there uh, is. Uh, let me finish first. Ang tinitignan parati natin, ang nagiging problema, no, eh yung nagpapalakad ng struktura. Uh -huh. no? So, it's so the, parang sinasabi mo na, eh itong, uh, ang, ang problema natin, kahit na sino ang magmaneho nitong auto tama. na to, yeah. Eh, I have rin. an answer oh, for oh, that. Oh, oh, oh. Because it's the structure, if you have the right structure, the right structure will force the emergence of the best people uh, in the system. So basically, ang problema kasi ng, ng, ng presidential system, eh yung algorithm niya, eh pagpipili ng sino yung sikat, sino may pangalan. Diba? Sino yung may matunog na pangalan, sino may sikat na, yung process, na parents. Parang... Yung process kasi is based on Titing mo yung looks, titing mo yung apelido, titing ganon. Pero yung parliamentary system sa loob ng partido kasi nagbabangayan sila sa loob, nag ano sila. They are uh, they are actually no, but, uh, competing against each other no, but, within uh, their own parties. How can we be the best sure? On, on no, but how can we be sure that it will not also happen sa a federal form of government? One, eh, kaya ng pinag-usapan naman namin na isa don. Di ba dito, pag nagkamali ka talaga dito ng leader na kukunin mo, mas delikado. Uh, kasi mas, ma, mas iba yung kapangyarihan na, na, oh. na meron sila. Ako, itadagdag ko dyan. Uh, baka nga yung this type of system might prevent a person like President Duterte from winning. Kasi, Bakit naman? Kasi kung ano eh, you're, you're, uh, kung magiging uh, parliamentary at doon manggagaling yung pagpili kung sino yung prime minister, mm -hmm. eh kung hindi ka makapasok doon dahil uh, hindi, sabi kasi hindi popular eh, hindi sikat. Mm -hmm. Eh kaya nga ang tinitingnan ng tao, why did, pres why did President Duterte win was because may failure in the policies, if ever, of the past administration. So mm -hmm. people were looking for, for someone who would deliver the change. Mm -hmm. Ngayon kung you change the structure, Di, yung mga may yaman lang makakapasok sa... No, that's not true. We look at all these other countries around the world using parliamentary systems. You find even bus drivers, basta matalino, even mm -hmm. bus drivers, even ordinary people, teachers lang. Canada, 
Hindi de, sila puro lawyer. Wal, wal, Pero sa walang Pilipinas, problema, lawyer lang lahat. De, walang eh. problema dun eh. Ang problema natin eh, yung setup ng kultura natin. Ganito kasi ang problema natin. No, this mobility. Is, this, this is not true. I've done so much research on this to actually understand how the whole thing works. If, if countries like Singapore mm. and, and Malaysia did not use a parliamentary system, they would have never been able to get people like Lee Kuan Yew or Mahathir Mohamad to become the, their leaders, mm. to transform them. The problem mm. with, for example, itong dalawang taong to, si the late Lee Kuan Yew and Mahathir Mohamad, they're both very, very outspoken and sometimes blunt mm -hmm. and sometimes even abrasive with how they say what they say. But they're extremely intelligent, extremely competent. Pero pag yung mga yan, ipasok mo sa Philippine presidential system, never yan mananalo. No, pero it boils down pa rin dun sa klase ng attitude and reception of the Filipino We people, are similar diba? to the Malays. We are not different from the Malays. You know, when you read the, 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 the book by by Mahathir Muhammad, The Malay Dilemma. When I was reading it, he was talking about the problems of the Malay people of Malaysia. And they have the same culture as us. Pare-pare, binabasa ko yung buong libro na yan, parang Pilipinas to. Yes. Why, exactly the why, same. Why is, it now, why, why is it now that here in Singapore, makikita mo yung paano sumusunod ang Pilipino na nandito? Paano din nagsumusunod yung mga Singaporean na nandito? Bring back the Filipino people in your own country. How do how how do you find them? How do you? I, I mean, I'm I'm proud is, to be a Filipino, yeah. and uh, I am proud of my roots, and I will always say I am a Filipino. But we have to face it. Nakikita natin kung ano yung attitude niya. Hindi ba meron din tayo ng kailangan dun na? Filipino kaya ng magbago eh. Pag nasa labas ng bansa kaya. That's precisely what we're saying. And 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 even inside the Philippines. Pag pumasok sa Subic Bay exactly. ano, area, tumitino naman eh. Exactly. Sumusunod sa batas din exactly. eh. Exactly. So Pag how... pumasok tayo sa Ayala Alabang eh, dahil may radar, may ano okay. sila, ganun din. Exactly. Pero, so ibig sabihin, nasa sistema. Mm -hmm. Kapag yung sistema mo, eh, anything goes, eh, syempre anything goes talaga mangyayari. Hindi. But pero pag kung pumasok... Halimbawa, ka, pa, pero kung halimbawa, maganda ang sistema mo, at yung nagpapatakbo ng sistema eh, sablay din, how will the system work properly? Ito, ito nga, that's why you need a new system. Uh -huh. Let's 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 make a let's educate ourselves uh -huh. on the differences between a good school and a bad school. Mm -hmm. What makes a good school a good school? It has a good system. A good system in choosing teachers. It has a good system in terms of how to teach the students and also a good system in choosing the students. May mataas ang mga standards. And standards. Uh -huh. e yung so-called bad school is kahit anything goes, kahit sino. Mga so yung mga sinipa sa Yung mga sinipa sa iba, <laughs> o ganun. O basta may pera ka, pasok ka. So ang nangyayari, may pagkakaiba ang pagtatakbo ng school, ng good school versus bad school. Hmm. Kaya ang lumalabas na produkto ng good school, e eh, magagaling. Tapos hmm. yung so-called bad school, eh, paminsan may mga magagaling, pero paminsan-minsan lang yun, most of the time, you, nagiging basa gulero. But you're saying like, by hook or by crook, ipupush nyo yung sa inyo. Pero oh. what happens kung hindi talaga yun ang uh, mangyari? So what, what, will, what do you plan to do? Kasi of course, there should always be like, uh, eto yung gusto natin. Our pero hindi sa lahat ng panahon we nangyayari. We have people yan. who will be going to the, kasi open to, ano, open to, yeah. Uh, the public yung uh, ano dun. We have some people who will be going there and, and actually talking to, kumbaga, they will be addressing the, the crowd. Mm -hmm. We're, they're going to show the fact that we did our internet surveys to find out how many people want presidential and how many people want parliamentary. Mm -hmm. When I did my own survey, I got something like, I think, 5,000 plus respondents. Mm -hmm. And... 87 to 86 to 87 percent mm -hmm. want a parliamentary system, mm -hmm. and the rest want a presidential. Mm -hmm. Now, one of my one of my other uh, fellow co um, tawag nito advocates, advocates, si Sas Rogando Saso, okay, okay, who is a well-known yeah. blogger as well. Gumawa naman siya ng sarili niya. Bak bakit ba nag-withdraw ng support kay PRDC Sass? Ah, hindi siya nag... Hindi, hindi, hindi. Alam mo, sabi, nag-withdraw na siya. Hindi, merong fake news na lumabas. Oh, that's fake news. Oh, that's fake news. So, pero magkagalit pa rin sila ni Harry Roque. Magkagalit pa rin sila ni Harry Roque. Kasama din si Moka doon yata, di ba? Ayaw sagutin ni Harry. Silent lang naman. Silent lang. So, may mga... Meron na kayong mga members sa Pilipinas? Yes, meron din kami mga members sa Pilipinas. Okay. Meron din kami mga members sa Pilipinas. And marami sa kanila, youth. 
internet savvy mm-hmm. youth. Mm-hmm. And you know, we are now in the age of the internet na ang mga tao eh kapag may hindi alam, i-google, mm-hmm. i-YouTube, maghahanap ng uh, uh, ng educational materials. Yes, yes. Kaya eh ako gumawa ako ng maraming videos dati. Gumawa ako ng maraming articles dati sa website namin. So, so you're spreading kaming, it also through YouTube now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, okay. we have YouTube and also in Facebook. So, maraming nag-viral sa mga ginawa kong mga video mm-hmm. so dati. So, your area of concentration now to disseminate these informations and also to, social like, uh, social media talaga. Other, is social media Social talaga. media talaga. Okay, okay. May laban tayo ngayon dahil sa social media. Yes, yes. Tsaka, so, going back, na, yes. going back sa kay Sas, no? When she did that uh, survey, yung survey niya, 95%. Mm-hmm. At uh-huh. sa kanya siguro 10,000 plus naman yung mas marami yung kanyang ano eh oh, yung followers. Yung followers niya. Yeah. So when she did her survey, ang dami talaga 95% gusto ng parliamentary. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm not going to be blowing my own horn but part of it is part, partly because of what we started back in 2010. Pero may nakausap na ba kayo inside Malacañang uh, regarding this movement and uh, the, have you consulted them also as to Uh, what they really want. Kasi ngayon, eh, oh. hindi pa rin depinido yan dun sa lahat ng kung ano Ang bang... gusto ni PRRD, okay, ganito, I, I don't have direct contact with uh, PRRD. No? Um, but what what we all know is that PRRD say, was always saying he wants a French model, which is a transitional mechanism to get into, to eventually get into mm-hmm. a mm-hmm. parliamentary mm-hmm. system. Kasi, kung mag-French system ka, mm. meron ka pa rin strong, medyo strong pa rin na president as a final arbiter or uh, as a parang someone who can mm-hmm, step in mm-hmm. when when needed. Similar to the, the, the Thai king mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in their system where, okay, they have a, a, a prime minister but if nagkaroon ng gulo, pwedeng pumasok ang king. Uh, uh. So, ganun yung nangyayari sa, ano, sa, sa sinasabing hybrid model. Mm. The French model is actually like that. The, the president can come in, can step in if there is anything necessary. So you you're entertaining the hybrid model yeah. to, to kick it off. Yes, yes. Uh, just para malaman rin ng ating mga kababayan kasi kuya, ang pinag-uusapan pa rin pa lang natin yung national uh, form. Oh, wala sa, pa yung sa wala pa baba. sa baba. Wala pa ang isa baba. sa mga comments na lumalabas eh, hindi ba lalong magiging entrenched yung mga political families kada probinsya dahil nga sa federal So, this is, this is uh, again, that's another... Parang uh, that's, isa that's, dynasty. Oh, yeah. dynasty. So, first of all, I've, I've done research on federalism ever since I was in high school. So, long time ago. Kasi medyo galing ako si which is one of the hotbeds of, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. of federalism. So, um... In all my research, and now with the internet, you can mm-hmm, get mm-hmm. Uh, access to as many dissertations and uh, uh, white papers by all these PhDs mm-hmm. around the world. Wala akong mahanap na isang, kahit isang political science dissertation na sinulat ng tanyag na, ano, na, na doktor, na, na PhD, sa Pilipinas or sa abroad, na nagsasabing federalism will worsen warlords and dynasties. Imbento yan ng mga monsod invento nila yan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They made that up to fool us into thinking that if we if we go federalism, things will get worse with the warlords and dynasties. You know what's the other bigger problem? Mm-hmm. Nagkakamali yung mga tao sa pag-iisip na ang ang magiging form of federalism natin ay pr- are based on LGUs and provinces. Mm-hmm. That's not true. The, the whole plan has always been ever since ever since si Ruben Cano mm-hmm. and everyone In, uh, in the past has been region based regions oh, region. ipagsasama you know, wala, wala, wala namang problema eh yun ang wala pa ngayon wala pa ngayon oh, oh. Wala pa, so wala ipagsasama pa ipagsasama mo ang mga probinsya na magkakapareho siguro ng kultura or whatever else mm. magsasama sila so that they, they become bigger now the good thing about doing that this is re- this has really been studied i have a lot of phd research to back me up talaga ang mangyayari diyan yung mga yung mga provinces kasi ang mm-hmm, maxim mm-hmm. ang maximum level ng dynasty is either local uh, barangay local level so city mm-hmm, municipality mm-hmm. Province. and province yes. hanggang province lang yes. pero pag nagkaroon ka ng region based of on joining together provinces maglalaban-laban ngayon ang mga dynasties basically they cancel each other out mm-hmm. now all the more kapag nagkaroon ka ng parliamentary system when you have a parliamentary system hindi na sila magtatakbo as governor as vice governor lahat sila tatakbo dapat as members of regional parliament okay so as as all all are, are going to run as members of regional parliament 
And within the parties, the parties that get the highest uh, number of, uh, of seats, you know, they will be able to form the government. And the best people among them will, will be the ones given higher positions. So basically, yung leader ng party mm -hmm, in mm -hmm, the region, mm -hmm. Na nag, uh, tapos yung party na yun na nagkaroon ng majority, yun yung magiging chief minister mm -hmm, mm -hmm, doon sa region na yan. Ngayon, ito pa yung isang malaking pwedeng mangyari. Dahil sa, nag, uh, syempre, province A, province B, province C, province D, province E, may sarili-sarili silang mga mm -hmm. dynasty. Syempre, ayaw ng, ng province A na yung taga-province B mm -hmm. na dynasty ang mangibaba, whatever. You know what's very likely to happen? Sino yung mga ordinaryong tao na hindi part ng dynasty pero napakagaling yung pangpipiliin nila kasi ayaw ng mga dynasty na ay yung kalaban na rival namin na galing sa kabila yun yung mananalo. May posibilidad pa na mangyari yung ganun. Well, we're hoping that this will be in uh, will be disseminated in form of educational debate yes. Yes. as to uh, kasi ang kailangan dito ngayon lumabas din siguro is uh, the debate between ano ba talaga yung uh, mangyayari sa bawat modelo yes. na iniisip mm. ng bawat isa na nagsusulong ng iba-ibang models. Mm. Kasi right now, nandun pa lang tayo sa... National structure oh, lang. At saka butohan pa lang ito nung committee na ano, wala pa mm. din, hindi pa rin ito na... And it, we, it's, it's a long way to go. And we way. do yeah. hope that uh, we'll be hearing a lot from your group as yes. well, uh, debating on the uh, uh, different uh, fora na ma-exhaust yung lahat ng mga issues surrounding doon sa mga ano ba yung uh, maling impresyon, mm -hmm. oh. ano ba yung misleading, misleading. Uh, na, na mga oh. information, at ano ba yung mga dapat talaga na maintindihan natin na reality mm -hmm. of each form or yes. each model that yes. we will follow. Thank you so much for being with thank us. Thank you so much, Kuya oh. Danny. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank Mr. you. Uh, Orion Perez. Orion. 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 Orion Perez, ano bang Orion palayo mo? Rai. Rai. Ryan Orion. Rai. Ryan. Orion. Wow, ang maganda. No? Oh. Parang uh, Onion. <laughs> <laughs> Orion Perez Dum Dum, principal co-founder po ng Correct Movement. Dito sa programang Bawal ang Pigon! Get it straight with Daniel Razon. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you.